different star Flying over streets and the broken hearts But they can even touch us, we found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the lease Ooh, getting caught in the mist is a minute they'll never get out of They're feeding the fears and the doubts Definitely questioning my sanity this morning after being out in London last night until about two in the morning. And this morning, I don't know if the camera's even picking it up, but he's absolutely chucking it down. And it's forecast to remain that way all day. So we're definitely competing in the rain today. This is the mud that we're dealing with. Awful. Are you ready to go competing in the rain, Maggie? She said, oh no, no, I don't want to, I don't want to. Sorry, girly. Just come in the tack room to shelter out of the rain. And yes, today we are off to do some combined training at Berry Farm. So we are doing Freedom 2, I think with the 70 and then at Novice 24 with the 80. So it's gonna be a soggy one. We're outside for the dressage, as far as I know, and then show jumping inside. Um, but weather aside, I am looking forward to it. <laughs> so let's let's go. Let's get platted and on the road. Raring to go. So here we go, straight into it. As you will probably be able to see from the camera, the weather was absolutely abysmal. So it was really windy, really rainy, and Mega was not at all pleased about it, as you will see there. We've got quarters going wayward on the center line, head chucking, and bless her, she was just, she was trying to cooperate, but she wasn't best pleased about it. So we scored a six for that center line with a comment of left of the center line, which we can see quite clearly from this camera angle. We then mosey on round to E and do a 20 meter circle. She's still not at all happy about the weather. So you'll see coming around this turn here, we lose the quarters, she's being fussy in the contact but we still scored a 6.5 with a comment of a little fussy to the contact, but improving. We then carry on round to F and we then do that like funny thing where you go F to X and then to C, so back sort of up the center line. We scored a 6.5 of this and a comment of left of the center line again. And yeah, it's, she's just not settled, not happy with the weather and we're just basically trying our best to get through the test. We then repeat what we've done on the other rain, round to B, do a 20 meter circle. We scored a 6.5 with a comment of need to work through to the contact and settle, which yes, I completely agree, judge, but we're just trying to get through, get through it. And yeah, bless poor Meggie, not pleased with the English weather at all which did yeah actually worsen as we basically went into the arena which was slightly unfortunate we then repeat what we've done on the other rain so we go round to k then to x and to c so again back up that center line we did actually score a seven for this with a comment of it needs to be more supple through the turns which actually watching i feel like was quite generous of the judge but we then turn and transition to walk between C and H. We scored a seven for that, which she is normally fairly good with her downward transitions. We then do a change of rain and medium walk H to B. We scored a 6.5 with a comment of needs to seek the contact down and forwards, which yeah, normally I would do, but I remember there just being a lot of tension and I thought, I don't really know if I want to let go of the reins too much. <laughs> We then do a half circle, 20 meters, B to E, free walk on a long rein. Obviously I had to let go of the reins here and we did actually get a 7.5 for that, which that score is double marked, which was handy. We then changed the rein E to M back in medium walk and we scored a seven. I think from this point on, she starts to settle in the test a little bit more. I don't know if the weather eased a little bit or what but she was just yeah a little bit happier and the scores seemed to reflect that we then transition to trot in that corner we scored a 6.5 with a comment of not through to contact which was fair and then we pick up canter in the next corner with the same comment 6.5 not through to contact then at a we do our 20 meter circle and we scored 
a seven for this. But you can just see she is just tense, not relaxed, not letting go. Um, so yeah, like I say, it's, it was just a case of getting through the test, basically. Between A and F, we come back down to trot. We scored a 6.5 with a comment of a little unbalanced. And then we do this change of rein across the centre, which we scored a 7.4, which I was actually pretty pleased with. We then transition back up to canter in that corner with a 6.5 and a comment of a little unbalanced. And then we do our 20 metre circle at C, which we scored a 7.4. So it appeared on the circles we were happier and getting the slightly better marks. We then carry on down to the bottom of the arena and then at F, transition to working trot. We scored a 6.5 with a comment of a little abrupt um, and then turn up the centre line and we score a 6 for our halt with a comment of drifted left, which was a pity. But to be honest, yeah. We were just pleased to get through it. <laughs> On to the show jumping, and it was safe to say Mega was much happier to be indoors and out of the rain. And look at her little keen bean face and her pricked ears. And yeah, we met those first two jumps on a lovely stride. And I think the same for this one coming out of the corner, which is not often the case. For me, with my piloting, I'm often on the wrong stride coming out of a corner. But I love how she's got such a good rhythm around this course and I am not interfering too much and interrupting that and we're just meeting the jumps in in our stride um we just here got a little bit unbalanced and I had to bring her back and get her on the correct lead but then straight back into that same canter rhythm she's coming around she's looking for the next fence got a little bit close but obviously managed to pick her feet up okay and again to that one where I think I should have adjusted quicker after that previous fence to make up the distance but again still maintaining that nice rhythm really using our space into the corner there meeting that spread on a lovely stride and then there just got the striding wrong but she jumped it perfectly <laughs> So after what I believed was a car crash of the first test, I was just hoping for a nicer ride, basically, for this one. So we enter at A, proceed down the centre line, and then track right. We scored a 7 for that, and then we do one loop 10 metres from the track. MXF, we scored a 6.5 with a comment of more supple to bend. And I think just in general for her dressage on this day, she just didn't fully let go through her body. So that's reflected in all of her marks, to be honest. At A, we then half circle right 20 meters and then just before X transition to walk and then pick back up into trot after one length. We scored a seven for that with a comment of fairly fluent. Then at X, a half circle 20 meters round to C we scored a seven for that we then repeat that same thing so heart one loop 10 meters from the track in the other direction again with a comment of more supple to bend and a 6.5 for that then we change the rain showing some medium trot strides across the diagonal we scored a seven for this with a comment of clear difference shown which is really pleasing and then come back to working trot and at C medium walk we then do a change of rein in medium walk MXK and we scored a seven for that with a comment of more elastic to the contact and then just before X you do a progressive transition into a free walk on a long rein and we scored a seven for that and the judge has just underlined the comments of stretching forwards and down with suppleness through her whole body which yeah I agree with like I said earlier then at A we transition into medium walk we scored a 6.5 with a comment of against the hand because you'll see she just tried to jog because she doesn't like to do walk for too long <laughs> then at F we come into working trot and then at M we transition into working canter we scored a six for that with a comment of lost balance and frame, which was really unfortunate that she just lost her footing there. 
We then at E do our circle 20 meters showing some medium canter strides in the second half of the circle. We scored a 6.5 with a comment of more ground cover, which yeah, looking at this and you know, not that you can tell from the video because my mum's clearly watching me and not through the camera, but um, I think I could have been braver there. We then carry on round and then at A, half circle left 20 metres to X and then transition down to trot and then pick up canter straight away. She actually did that okay, but could have been more through in the transition. So we scored a 6.5 for that. And then we got a 7 for the second 20, half 20 metre circle. Going round to B, do a 20 metre circle and give and retake the reins on the second half. We scored a seven with a comment of more supple top line, but a clear give and retake, which, yeah, I was really pleased with because she can speed off and change her rhythm in the give and retakes. Then we go round to A, coming back down to working trot, and then we change the rein across the diagonal showing some medium trot strides. She's given us a 6.5 with a comment of more through in the transition. So actually I think the medium trot work was okay. It was the transition that brought that mark down. Then at C, we circle left 20 meters, allowing the horse to stretch. And then just before C, pick the reins back up. And actually she did this really nicely. Look at little Leah's flopping away there. <laughs> Um, and we scored Jera 7 for this with a comment of could have a little more swing. We then half circle left at E 10 metres to X and then proceed to a halt at G and we scored a 7. So a much better test. It definitely was a lot more fluid and better to the contact, but still a little bit tense. back in for our second round of show jumping but this time up to 80 so again we get a really lovely shot over the first and a lovely forward rhythm into the second we then come round to the third here and I think I get a slightly yeah, duff stride but she sorts it out and I adjust better for the second part so we make up the distance there which was really good then just getting her to collect back up again because I pushed her on a little bit there but we get good turn around the corner just unfortunately tapping the rail with her back feet but we managed to get the correct lead after those fences this time which was better than the last round a better shot to this upright here and then a good shot to the spread as well you can see she knows where she's going she's very keen and up for the job but still maintaining a nice rhythm although it's a bit more forward it's not too fast so we get a nice shot over that spread and we actually make this distance nicely as well and make her wanted to then celebrate at the end <laughs> and rightly so because she got herself two lovely frillies it's a fair few hours later and we are back i've just put mega in the menage for a little leg stretch with Oz um, before she comes back in her stable because it's almost bringing in time. But the purpose of today was to have a good outing competition environment for our show jumping. And safe to say, we achieved that. I was super pleased with her. I wasn't, however, pleased with the bronking that we had in the first dressage warm up. <laughs> I lost my stirrup and there was one point where I did think I might be coming off, but thankfully I didn't. I'm so gutted mum didn't get it on camera. I said to her afterwards, why didn't you start filming? And she said she was actually too concerned to be thinking about filming. <laughs> so yeah, um, so safe to say the test after that was literally a case of staying between the boards and just basically getting through it so we did manage that and I think we ended up on about 67% so to me it felt like an absolute car crash but clearly the judge saw some nice bits that perhaps I was overlooking because all I could feel was just tension and yeah power <laughs> that had nowhere to go so that was good and then in the 70s you will have seen we jumped a lovely clear round which i was so buzzing with and then in the novice she warmed up so much better was much more settled in the warm-up there wasn't 
scary looking small ponies and not quite so many people in the warm-up which were making noises in all the puddles etc um and then she went in and did her jumping for that in the 80 and i actually think that was the better of the two rounds she was really confident i've never seen that horse's ears so pricked in my entire life and was taking long ones etc we just unfortunately tapped a rail with her back legs uh, in the double so we had four folds but we've come away with two gorgeous frillies fourth and sixth place so yeah I'm actually overall although actually ironically the dressage was our weakest phase today it felt um I yeah I, that like I say the main aim for me really was for the show jumping side of things and I'm pleased as punch with how that went um could not be happier not bothered at all by the pole because actually i feel like her rhythm and how she was listening to me how i rode everything was just so much better um so yeah really pleased but i hope you guys have enjoyed coming along for the ride today sorry i need to get back into the habit of this vlogging stuff i yeah like even talking to the camera when I'm at the show sort of goes out the window although albeit today it was a little bit chaotic with the weather and having to chop and change between tack etc so hope you guys have enjoyed that despite that and I will see you for another video very soon thanks bye guys What are you doing?